is the technology in your bag outdated? Maybe your golf irons need to be upgraded to something newer. Well, today we're gonna be focusing on new versus old iron technology. Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Today I'm joined by Skylar Kessler. Skylar also works at Second Swing Minnetonka's Tour. And we are going to be talking about irons today, specifically upgrading from older technology to newer technology. Mm -hmm. I happen to be kind of rummaging around in the clearance bin a little bit, and I happen to find the American Lady. Wow. It's, uh, it's uh, kind of a unique, it's a, it's a blade, clearly a blade, but it's, it's also considered a woman's golf club, which I find interesting, the fact it's a steel golf shaft. Mm -hmm. The grip's definitely smaller as well, and it's, it's designed for, for a woman, but let's face it, it's not just about gender, it's, it's about whether you're a golf swing, or your club speed, how you develop the club. The iron doesn't know what gender you are, essentially what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So, I want to test this older club versus the irons that you're playing and also want to play and throw in a hybrid just for fun because forgiveness is important mm -hmm. and we all know that hybrids generally speaking are a little bit more forgiving than irons. so i want to see what happens with the older american lady your six iron which you're playing 0211 pxg irons right yes and then i also have throw in the mix a, a ping g425 hybrid just to, just to see what happens is there anything you might anticipate today will happen um the american lady will not be good <laughs> well <laughs> here's the thing i feel like you might put one or two good swings on it but i feel like your miss hits you probably won't get away with as much as the other models is what i would guess and just moi this i'm looking at with being a blade um there's really not much there for mm -hmm. resistance of twisting on those bad shots you ready to hit some shots and see how older technology compares to the newer technology? I'm ready to see it. Okay, Skylar, I'm gonna start this one a little different this time. We're gonna start with the hybrid. So we'll get you a chance to kind of get warmed up a little bit and hit some shots and then we'll take a look at some numbers and compare the hybrid versus the American Lady and your 0211. Chunky. Chunky, but still kind of got bad. away with it. That was a good swing. That felt better. Yep. Nice. Good. All right. So we hit uh, five shots there with the six hybrid, and we're testing six iron versus six hybrid, so that's why we chose the six hybrid. One thing I noticed was the landing angle. You got some stopping power with this club. Mm -hmm. So with the hybrid, the ball was flying a little bit higher. On average, it was flying 77 feet in the air um, with a landing angle of 45.7 degrees. So there's a decent amount of height and also quite a lot of spin on it as well. Um, so next up, I want to throw in that American Lady, and I'm going to ask you just kind of how it compares to the, uh, the hybrid that you were hitting, and then we'll talk about numbers and see if there's anything that stands out to us. I can definitely tell one, it's just, just looking at it, it's short, shorter than what I'm used to, so I'll have to adjust to that, but yep. the top line looks like a piece of paper. <laughs> it literally <laughs> does. And just the, the length of the head, it looks like it's half of what mine iron is so it's a, it's a blade and it's also a steel shaft as well so mm -hmm. it's probably going to feel just maybe a little heavier than what you're used to as well mm -hmm. and just weight wise too you can tell it's a little heavier than the hybrid oh. well let's see some swings with this club oh gosh it's a little chunky a little, it's little not heavy. bad though not a bad start Ouch. Mm. That one probably hurt a little bit. That hurt. Mm. That 
let's hit a little bit more solid. Yeah, it's just not going very far, it's though. It's not at all. Okay, so I gotta ask you, so we're five swings in with, with that club. If you were gonna be playing 18 holes with that iron, do you feel like you'd get tired by the end of the round? Oh, 100%. I mean, just out of those five shots, I feel like I didn't even hit one super well. Um, I could kind of tell it felt pretty decent if I hit it closer to the center of the face, but those miss hits hurt a right. lot. So after five shots, I can't imagine <laughs> An entire round. Yeah, so if you look here at those shots, um, your best shot you hit carried 120 going 135. Obviously, the six hybrid average is, is higher than that there, too. Um, you can see here dispersion. Same kind of direction. Now, you, you have a tendency to leave that face open, a little bit mm -hmm. open, hit, hit your little fade. Um, but you can see you, you lost distance, total distance. And, uh, and carry distance with the, the yellow circle being the, the six iron American Lady while the six hybrid was just consistently going just a little bit further up the screen, carry and total distance. It's kind of what you would expect, right? And mm -hmm. being in the golf industry and, and seeing how technology works. Okay, so I'm curious now, six iron, your six iron, I wanna see how it compares to, I can just feel the, the weight difference, picking your six iron up and picking this one up. For yeah, sure. it's crazy. Nice. Nice. chunky okay another five swings there shots 11 through 15 um, it's and we compare that to the American lady and we'll take a look at these numbers the first thing we're seeing here is you picked up four miles an hour more club speed versus the other sick, the older technology. And mm -hmm. I think that's going to be attributed to the weight of the golf shaft and probably the length a little bit too. We noticed that mm -hmm. that six iron uh, American lady was a little bit shorter. Mm -hmm. So more club speed is going to equal more potential distance. We take a look at your ball speed here. Well, your highest ball speed with the American lady was not even 90 miles an hour. <laughs> your worst shot was 93. We noticed on average you're about 100. So. Big, big, big difference right there. And we know that ball speed's going to equal more distance. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's crazy, actually, the, the difference is there. Um, the first shot, you missed it a little bit mm -hmm. with yours. So we noticed the spin rate was a little bit lower. But otherwise, you would notice we're around about that 4,000 mark with, with all those others with regards to spin. So it is noticeably spinning less than the uh, American Lady. And it was also noticeably spinning less than the, the hybrid there, too. So. We'll notice a couple of differences. We'll come back to the hybrid here a little bit later. The ball was getting there a different way with that with that hybrid six hybrid versus your, your six iron. And we'll talk about that landing angle be 45 versus 40. If that landing angle was getting you know lower overall, say it was in the mid 30s, we'd probably for sure want to consider maybe a hybrid. And we've already had this conversation instead of four iron, um, maybe consider like a four hybrid or five hybrid in the in the mix there, just to make it a little bit easier on you. But Interesting numbers. Um, let's take a look at the averages. Between the two six irons, you picked up. It's a lot. Of, that's a lot of distance. Mm -hmm. Picked up uh, 30 yards of carry distance and just a little over 30 yards of total distance. I would uh, I would say whoever fit you under your PXG irons did a pretty good job. Thanks, Jackie. Yeah, thanks, Jackie. Right. Yeah, so uh, big change there in, in technology. Come back to the dispersion here, and that's where you can definitely see the, the difference. Uh, mm -hmm. I definitely like that purple circle better. You actually were hitting the six iron better than you were hitting the six hybrid. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that's just because I'm not used to hitting hybrids. Of course, it does take practice, but I could just definitely tell that it was a sh shorter club. 
than my six iron it felt like maybe, but also just the loft was so much higher on that. I think it might just take a little bit right. of getting used to, but I like my six iron. Yeah. We'll get a hybrid in the bag for you, maybe instead of the four iron. <laughs> I but do, yeah, yes. we, d we definitely, at this point, we don't need it for five or, or six. Mm -hmm. um, you, you don't want to sacrifice losing that, that distance that, you, that you're getting out of, the, out of the club there for sure. And you're hitting it straighter with the iron too, so that's, that's important to note. Uh, this, is, this, was, this was an interesting comparison, comparing old technology versus new technology. It's interesting that the landing angle numbers were pretty similar versus the older six iron versus your six iron. Um, but the, the big difference is going to be that carry distance and that, and that total distance. And then just the forgiveness level. And you can see here, you didn't hit the American Lady nearly as well as you hit yours. A 1.24 smash factor versus a 1.33 smash factor. That just tells me when you don't hit it in the middle of the face, you're not getting rewarded at all. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're losing a lot of distance and forgiveness by if you're playing an iron that's too old in technology or not designed right for the player. I don't know, anything else? No, I mean, I definitely like my club. I was surprised I hit the American Lady um, as well as I did. I'm not saying that I hit it well, but I think right. I was more surprised that I was able to keep up with it, truthfully. Um, I've played a steel shaft before I got fit into these, so switching between the steel and this wasn't too much of a difference. I could, I could feel the head a lot more in my graphite shaft. Yeah. But... I mean, you said it's not too much of a difference. I mean, we're talking club speed here. It's almost five miles an hour club speed. I guess that is true. That's, that's going to lead to more distance right off the bat mm -hmm. just by playing a, a golf shaft that's fit better for you in your hands. Mm -hmm. um, and then, so another interesting thing with like the American Lady is it's an older blade. Um, so if I'm looking down at this, you know, for a six iron, it's got a lot of loft on it. Mm -hmm. your, your six iron as 0211, it's, it's definitely not like a player's iron with regards to loft. The loft's a little bit, little bit stronger. Mm -hmm. So if we're gonna compare the two of them based on loft versus loft. It's not obviously a, a fair test. If I was to bend this to the same loft as that, this thing would look kind of like a, yeah, it, it, wouldn't, <laughs> it would look pretty different. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one thing to keep in touch. Cause we're talking loft differences, probably about five degrees between these technology, even maybe a little bit more than five degrees. Yours has 24 degrees of loft, I believe, on your six iron. Well, I think this six iron here is going to be closer to 30 degrees. So it's, it's going to be a big, big difference yeah. there. But even still, we always say every degree of loft is about three yards. Just call it, just say call it 15 to 20 yards. It does, so it doesn't cover the difference there of what we're seeing of 30 yards of carry distance and total distance. So technology is doing its job. And it's helping you on the miss hits mm -hmm. and the ball's going further. So golfers, if you're playing irons that are a little old for you, you've been playing them for the last few years and it's time for an upgrade, come into Second Swing and see us. We'd love to give you a club fitting. Also, please subscribe to our channel. Send us a comment about the irons that you're playing. Also, like this video. Thanks for watching.